And what's going on, Fontaine here, back on the Machine 2.7 update. If you saw the last video, we were showing you how to get things set up as far as using the real-time pitch shift audio plugin. In this video, we're gonna take a look at actually recording uh, your real-time pitch shifts. So then that way, when you're working in your projects, everything can be nice and neat for you. If you've seen the last video, we basically went through all the steps. The only thing different is right here, you would just simply select the piano roll icon. When you select the piano roll icon here, again, having the audio plugin actually on, this is off, this is on, has to be activated. Your uh, actual wave file is displayed here. Okay, it's also uh, displayed in the software uh, as well, as you can see here. And there's other ways that we can take a look at this, such as the pattern grid. The camera probably won't pick this up uh, too good here. I'll see if I can make another video where we can zoom in actually on this. And also show you some other, tri some other tips and tricks using the solos, uh, for example. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of that. And I'm gonna select the gate. As you can see, it grays out. And I'm just gonna use this in a real time pitch shifting manner. I'm just gonna play the uh, audio here. So to me, that sounded like it was doing a subtle change, not nothing really major, but you know, this is just for the video. So I'm not like trying to make a beat out of this the way I did in the last video. So let's go ahead and just record that. course this is just you know a test just testing out some of the features of the audio plugin and again you can come here to your MIDI notes and you know you can go up different scales and things of that nature as you can see under the selection range here so you can actually come in here and actually tune your notes uh, pretty much the way you would with uh, your MIDI notes on the piano roll <laughs> Of course that's sounding you know kind of bugged out but it just gives you an idea you know just how you can get in there and just play around uh with these different selection ranges and just to give you you know another example i'm just going to just take these uh little guys here and just you know just play around a little bit i'm just going to just manipulate this and just really stress test this and just really get really crazy and just i just want to see just how crazy i can get with this and see what's going to happen as far as uh, really testing the engine out now these notes up here are really ridiculous and i'm going to really stress test it down here and just bring these guys down here like really low on the piano roll so as you can see right here uh, as i scroll through the piano roll you see how the uh wave file actually stays in the background so i think that's kind of dope they put it like that so you actually you see the wave file and then you see your midi notes here so again this is going to sound real crazy <laughs> so again i'm just stress testing so let's go ahead and uh, check it out. That makes me think about that little cartoon robot as you know as a little kid <laughs> the crazy little tin robot walking doing like some real crazy stuff you know that's what that kind of reminds me of but yeah man that's pretty much it man uh nothing really you know extra to this video just wanted to show that um you know that i didn't show in the last video just so you can see actually to get your uh real-time pitch shifting recorded in using the audio plugin all right that's pretty much it your boy fontaine vip be sure to visit us and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.